Hey, welcome back. This is Max. In the last video, we spent a bit of time testing solidity and pitch angles. And from the data we recorded, we were able to figure out a couple of things. First, we found that higher solidities produced more power using symmetrical airfoils like the NACA 0018, which is kind of a fun result. We also found that there's a sweet spot around nine degrees of pitch, which produces the most power with these airfoils. If you want to see the testing results and graphs, I'll link to that video down in the description and you can get yourself caught up. Okay, what I want to know is, can we just take these findings and generally apply them to another symmetrical airfoil and see similar results? The plan? Well, we're going to take Lloyd's Rim Kick 7 from a few episodes ago that Lloyd so graciously said I could reuse for this episode. And we're going to set its pitch to 9 degrees on the new hub. The other thing I need to be sure I remember is the cord length is actually 50 millimeters. This shouldn't take long. <clears throat> Go ahead and put your power output guesses in the comments. Oh, wait, one more thing. I would have felt like a real dingus if I got that wrong. Huh? What are what? Those? Nothing. Stop being nosy. Let's just test these instead of getting all accusatory about whether or not I messed these up the first time. Hey, two videos in a row, we got good results. That's a new record. 1.4878 watts. And I definitely didn't have to rerun it multiple times because I forgot to rescale the graph. Dang it. Like the video for more of me forgetting things. Anyways, compared to the NACA 0018, the rim kick produced about 4% more power at 9 degrees. Oh, and each of the rim kicks tests were within less than a half percent of each other. It's nice to see the tests are repeatable now, especially with how the series of videos started. It looks like this could be a good general recipe for your turbine challenge airfoils. I think in the future, we should probably try out some not symmetrical turbine blade designs. And with that, don't forget to subscribe, let me know if there's something you'd like me to try out, or submit your own design using the information down in the description. Okay, thanks, bye.